the Amazon Basin, a place teeming with life, a symphony of sound and fury. The air hung heavy, thick with humidity. The sun beat down mercilessly. Sweat stung the eyes of the workers as they carved into the earth. They were building a road, a scar across the emerald tapestry of the jungle. Progress, they called it. Deep in the heart of the rainforest, the men toiled. They were accustomed to the dangers of the jungle, jaguars lurking in the shadows, caimans patrolling the murky depths, but nothing could prepare them for what they were about to unearth. This was no ordinary construction project. This was a disturbance of something ancient, something sacred. A collective gasp rippled through the site. The ground trembled. Out of the freshly turned earth emerged a creature of myth and legend, an anaconda of unbelievable size. Its scales, the color of emeralds, glinted in the sunlight, its eyes, cold and ancient, fixed on the terrified workers. Fear, primal and instinctive, gripped their hearts. Carlos, the oldest of the workers, stepped forward. He was a man of the jungle. He knew the secrets hidden beneath the emerald canopy. He had seen things that would make the bravest man tremble. He approached the giant serpent, not with fear, but with reverence. In his hands, he held a machete, its blade glinting like a shard of sunlight. With a swift, practiced motion, Carlos sliced open the belly of the beast. A wave of nausea swept over the onlookers. The stench of decay filled the air. Carlos, unfazed, continued his grim task. He had seen death before. He knew that death even in its most gruesome forms, held secrets. Secrets that the jungle whispered to those who dared to listen. Deep within the bowels of the serpent, Carlos's hand encountered something hard, something out of place. His heart pounded in his chest. He carefully pulled the object free. It was a canister, rusted and ancient. Covered in the serpent's digestive juices, it gleamed ominously in the dappled sunlight. The workers huddled closer, their eyes wide with a mixture of fear and fascination. Carlos wiped the canister clean, his movements slow and deliberate, as if he were handling a fragile piece of history. The dust that had settled over centuries lifted gently, revealing the surface beneath, revealing intricate carvings. They were unlike anything he had ever seen. The patterns seemed to tell a story, one that had been lost to time. Each line and curve held a mystery, a secret waiting to be uncovered. He pried open the canister, the lid giving way with a soft creak. The air inside was musty, carrying the scent of ages past. He could almost feel the weight of history pressing down on him, his calloused fingers trembling with anticipation. This was the moment he had been waiting for, the culmination of years of research and exploration. His heart raced as he peered inside. Inside, nestled in faded velvet, were treasures beyond his wildest dreams. The velvet itself was worn and fragile, a testament to the passage of time. Lay a collection of artifacts. Each piece was a marvel, a glimpse into a world long gone. He could hardly believe his eyes, a golden mask depicting a face both human and feline. The craftsmanship was exquisite, the details so fine that it seemed almost lifelike. He wondered who had worn it and what stories it could tell. A necklace of jade and obsidian, its surface smooth and cool to the touch. The stones were perfectly polished, their colors vibrant even after all these years. It was a piece of art, a symbol of a culture that valued beauty and craftsmanship. And a map, its edges frayed, its markings faded but still discernible. This map was a key, a guide to places unknown. He traced the lines with his finger, imagining the journeys it had seen, the hands that had held it. It was a connection to the past, a link to the people who had come before him. As he studied the artifacts, he felt a deep sense of awe and responsibility. These were not just objects, they were pieces of history, fragments of a story that he was now a part of. He knew that his work was just beginning, that there were still many secrets to uncover, many questions to answer. But in that moment, surrounded by the echoes of the past, he felt a profound sense of purpose. He was not just an archaeologist, he was a guardian of history, a keeper of the stories that had shaped the world. And he was determined to honor that legacy, to preserve these treasures for future generations to discover and cherish. 
Section 8, a map to Lost Worlds. This ancient map, meticulously crafted on animal hide, holds secrets that have been lost to time. It is a gateway to a forgotten era, a portal to a civilization that once thrived in the shadows of history. The map, rendered on animal hide, depicted a sprawling city. This city, with its intricate layout and grand structures, was a marvel of ancient engineering and architecture. It was a place where art, culture, and knowledge flourished, a city unlike any known to man. Its design was otherworldly, with buildings that seemed to defy the laws of physics, towers that reached for the sky, and structures that seemed to float above the ground. Pyramids soared towards the heavens, their peaks adorned with shimmering gold. These pyramids were not just tombs, but monuments to the gods, places of worship and power. They stood as a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual devotion of the people who built them. Intricate waterways crisscrossed the city, reflecting the sun like veins of molten silver. These waterways were the lifeblood of the city, providing water for drinking, agriculture and transportation. They were a marvel of engineering, designed to harness the power of nature. This was no ordinary city, it was a place of legend, a city that existed in the stories and myths passed down through generations. A city that was said to hold untold treasures and knowledge. This was a city of legend, a place where the impossible became possible, where the boundaries between reality and myth blurred. It was a city that inspired awe and wonder, a place that captured the imagination of all who heard its story. A city swallowed by the jungle centuries ago. Over time, nature reclaimed what was once hers and the city was lost to the world. But the map remains a testament to the greatness of this lost civilization, a reminder of what once was and what could be again. Section 9, Guardians of History. A sense of awe settled over the workers. They had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary, something that would rewrite history. Carlos, his weathered face etched with wonder, held the mask aloft. We are not just workers, he declared, his voice hoarse with emotion. We are guardians of history. His words resonated through the clearing, echoing the whispers of the ancients. Section 10, the ground beneath our feet. The discovery sent shockwaves through the archeological community. Experts descended upon the site, their eyes bright with excitement. The road construction halted, replaced by the delicate work of excavation. The jungle, once an obstacle, now seemed to conspire with the archaeologists, revealing its secrets slowly, reluctantly. Every inch of earth yielded treasures beyond their wildest dreams. Section 11, a legacy unearthed. In the heart of the dense Amazon jungle, where the modern world meets the ancient past, a remarkable discovery was about to unfold. The air was thick with anticipation as the workers, who had initially come to build a road, found themselves on the brink of unearthing a hidden chapter of human history. The workers, once driven by the need to build, now found themselves driven by something far greater, the need to uncover, the need to understand. Each artifact they unearthed told a story, each relic a whisper from a time long forgotten. The construction site had transformed into an archaeological treasure trove and the workers into passionate explorers of the past. The road, they realized, could wait. The jungle had spoken and they had listened. The dense foliage and towering trees seemed to guard the secrets of an ancient civilization, waiting patiently for the right moment to reveal itself. The workers, now archaeologists in their own right, carefully brushed away the layers of earth, revealing the intricate details of a once thriving society. They had stumbled upon not just a lost city, it was a discovery that would rewrite history books and challenge our understanding of the past. The city, with its complex structures and advanced engineering, spoke of a people who were far more sophisticated than previously imagined. The workers marveled at the ingenuity and craftsmanship that had stood the test of time, but an entire civilization lost to time, now reborn in the heart of the Amazon. The ruins revealed a society rich in culture, art and knowledge. The intricate carvings on the walls, the remnants of pottery and the layout of the city all pointed to a civilization that had once thrived in harmony with its environment. The workers felt a profound connection to these ancient people as if they were bridging the gap between the past and the present. Their legacy, once buried beneath the earth, now stood revealed for the world to see. The discovery was not just about the physical remnants of a lost civilization, but also about the stories, traditions, and wisdom that had been passed down through generations. 
It was a reminder of the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit. As the workers stood amidst the ruins, they knew that they were part of something much larger than themselves. They were the keepers of a legacy that would inspire future generations to explore, discover, and cherish the rich tapestry of human history.